Does everybody know what time it is? What time is it? It's Yankee Dabbler time, where of course every day is a train show. Hello, my name is DJ, and today we're going to be taking a look at some new items that hopefully you will fall in love with on your model railroad. And today we're going to be taking a look at some Athern Genesis 50 foot plug door box cars. I really enjoy these cars here. As we all know, we can never have enough box cars on our railroad. And I have a couple of different road names to choose here. I got the Southern Pacific. I have here the Wisconsin Central, and I have the Gold West Service. Now, these are incredibly detailed cars. The Athern uh, Genesis Series is their highly detailed version um, line that they have here. And there is just a whole bunch of great things happening here. Let's take a look onto the side of these boxcars. I mean, we all just have boxcars, but do you have boxcars that look this nice? I don't know. I think you might need to get these. Now I have a couple of different road numbers for each one of these cars. So if you're looking to have a nice long boxcar train, we got you covered. Now the retail value of these boxcars are $49.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $39.99. So everyone needs one, two, or 7,000 boxcars on your railroad. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these cars pulling commodities on your railroad today. So we don't just try to help you with your model trains, but I know a lot of us like to do a lot of rail fanning, but sometimes it might get a little bit challenging with all the people that are doing it as well. So I'm coming up with some helpful tips that are going to help you when you do your next rail fanning. So, what, so okay, so you tell me that we got tips on rail fanning today? That's right. We got a lot of great things happening. For example, say if you're in a, a location where right. you've got the perfect shot, but there's just way too many people around, tell you what, don't take a shower for like a month what? No one's gonna be one near, be anywhere near you. Okay. Wait a minute. So a month, don't take a shower, and nobody wanna be around you. Correct. And then you get your shot. You know what? That is perfect. See? You can get the perfect shot with nobody being around you, nobody in the background talking. It's perfect. Oh it, my gosh, that's it, so it's awesome. It's great. It also helps you get out of weddings too. I did that a couple of times last year. Anyway. Some of you might be looking for a new system to run your uh, trains, and we got a brand new one here from TCS. This is the train control system here from TCS. Check out this guy here. If we are looking for a new system on the market, this is a new one that you can check out. Now, the neat thing about this new throttle that we have here, and I got a little picture there of what the throttle looks like there, but the neat thing about this, um, this command system here it is a tethered system but it has what is called yard mode and what yard mode is and i'm going to read you the exact um, description here yard mode is an innovative tcs exclusive feature designed for switching operation and control perfect for spicing up the repetitive yard moves so if you say have a yard that you want to um, get some nice uh, motion and control happening with your locomotives this TCS system probably is a good way for you to go now we are selling this here at Yankee Dabba for 260 that's a really neat system to get see again if you're trying to go for something a little bit different something new and innovative I think this is a really neat way to go so come to Yankee Dabba and check out the yard mode TCS system so we're gonna have rail fan tip number two you know a lot of you like for example might miss out on their scene because the train went by already and you're like ah, i gotta wait for tomorrow for the next one or something well there's a very simple solution just save millions of dollars and buy your own class one railway that way you can do whatever the heck you want to do Ooh, see okay what happened people have the budget for that what what's the oh, next alternative I, I i think it's a great alternative all right you can buy maybe like a class Two railroad or class B railway, you know? Uh, but maybe the budget's too high. But you know what? I, I got a solution for that one, okay? okay? If they can't, you know, have it in the budget, they should have a model railroad and do whatever they want. All right, class three railroad or nothing, okay? Uh, just a model railroad. Oh, how about this? A grind railroad. Big, oh. big cars, big trains. You know, how about that? Anyway, some of you might be looking for new diesel locomotives to put on your roster, and I have a couple of Kado P42 Genesis locomotives for you to check out. Now, I have four of the 50th anniversary locomotives here. I have what is called the 100, the Midnight Blue. I have here the Phase 6, number 108. I have here the Pepsi Can, they call that, the 160. And I have the Pointless Arrow, the 161. And then for the 50th anniversary of Operation Lifesaver, I have here the C-Track Think Trains locomotive. Now these engines are really cool. They are really nicely detailed. Let's take a look at this Midnight Blue one, for example. Now these are DC locomotives, so if you wanted to add a decoder to make them DCC, you definitely will have to do that. But 
These are very nice locomotives to put onto your railroad, especially if you want to celebrate Amtrak's 50th anniversary and you're an end scaler. This is a really great way to go. I've seen a couple of those locomotives in action. They are still running the rails today. So make sure that you get one of these Kata diesel locomotives if you want to represent a part of Amtrak's history. Now these engines retail for $135, but so we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $99. And 99 cents so that's a really great deal so if you're just okay with a dc locomotive you're on dc get one of those engines or if you want to upgrade it you could definitely do that you'll have a very nice awesome p42 amtrak engine pulling trains on your railroad all right so here's another rail fanning tip say if you have like the perfect shot you've been there for like 20 25 minutes whatever all of a sudden this guy just shows up right and stands right in front of your shot all you just do is you invest in a stun gun you stun the guy, you get your shot, and everyone's fine. Wait a minute, hold on a second. So you say if the guy standing for you right in front of you while you're getting a shot, yeah. you said hit him with the stun gun, right? Absolutely. It's a great idea, right? Why have you pee yourself and you stun your stun gun? What? Have you pee yourself and you get stung, you pee Who cares? It. That's that guy's problem. Look, you had your spot. Now he's gone. You get your shot. What's more important? A guy not being electrocuted right. or getting a picture of a diesel locomotive coming through a tunnel. Oh, you know what? He going down. Yeah, got, he see? going down. See? All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have some new cars that we uh, have to talk about here, and we got to keep our spirits up because they're a little depressed. That's right. We got some 81-foot depressed flat cars here. Check these out. These are eight axle depressed flat cars here from walters and these are really nicely decorated cars here the neat thing about these cars is not only do they have a bunch of vibrant colors but actually the middle part of this car is die cast metal we'll take a look at that in a second there now i have a bunch of different row names for you to choose and of course as usual i have a whole bunch of different numbers but if we take a look here let's take a look at this ttx one because this is a great one to see this whole part right here is metal and the more metal I have on my train, the happier I am. Now, this is just a great-looking car here. It does have some weight to it. Look at all those wheels. The more wheels, the better. Right, Engineer Hall? Yes, right. All right. Now, a couple of people might be thinking, what could I put on this car? Well, I have a couple of different options. Engineer Hall wanted to put this on here. This is actually another Walther's kit. This is an electric transformer. And so I could put this in various stages of completion. I could put this on the car. Or I could do my version, which is me and Engineer Hall filming a video. And you can just put that on the fire car. See? How great does that look? That holds up very well. It does, right? So the retail value of these cars, they sell for $39.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $33.98. So it's a great deal to get on a car that's mostly metal. And if you want to add the Engineer Hall DJ uh, load, now the car is $7,000. Dollars three hundred and thirty three dollars and ninety eight cents. So, I well, you know, it's it's really good. So, if you're interested in this, comment on the uh, the YouTube page. All right. So, come to Yankee Dabbler and get these cars, and hopefully, you can cheer them up on your railroad. They're not depressed. It's the name. It says depressed. They're depressed. I know, but not not sad. They it's just the name depressed because pushed down, not because they sad. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, that makes sense. All right, so here's another tip for you rail fans out there. You know, some of your spouses might complain that you constantly are going out filming or taking pictures of trains. Well, what you do is you just pick a fight about something that's kind of like really small, what we call the catch-up fight, and then you keep building it up, building it up, until eventually she doesn't want to talk to you, and then she just doesn't give a damn where you go. So you could go take photos or videos or whatever, and she has nothing to say about it. Great idea, right, Engineer Hall? Uh, this sounded like divorce to me, but go ahead, I'm just saying. Yeah. Anyway, we got a brand new train that we're going to take a look at, and it's a set by Rapido. It's so cool. I even I want to show you the box. This is the Amtrak Turbo Liner. Let's check out this engine here. Now, I didn't take the whole set out because it's kind of complicated to put together, and I didn't want to do that for um, resale purposes. But this is a really nice looking train set here. Now, the Turbo Liner, for those of you who might not be familiar with it, was actually a gas turbine train set that was built by Amtrak in the 1970s. And they were actually kind of one of the brand new first equipment things that Amtrak purchased 
when they took over the lines from all the failing other railroads like the Pennsylvania and whatnot in the 1970s. Now this is a really unique looking train set here that Rapido has come up with. Kind of futuristic looking, almost looks like a monorail if anyone's ever been to like Disney World. It kind of reminds me of a monorail. But all of these cars here are lighted and check this out. I have interiors inside them and I can put people inside them if I so desire. And I have two units here. There is a front locomotive and a rear locomotive as well. And these are just really great looking trains. You know, some of us might be looking for something that is very different and very unique. And Rapido definitely fits the bill there. They do an excellent job coming up with very nicely, highly detailed locomotives. Something, things that you probably have not seen be done before in HO. And we're going to check out what this engine sounds like because I really enjoy listening to these Rapido engines. So let's check them out. All right, so let's check out the turbo liner. Now, I don't know if the video can pick it up, but I do have pulsating lights that are happening here. And if we take a look at the passenger cars, and the cars kind of use these uh, unusual type of couplers. I don't have them up here, but if you take a look at the cars there, they are illuminated inside. So that is a really neat feature to this train. Let's take a listen to what the horn sounds like. The bell. One of the neat things about Rapido are all the sounds that these uh, engines have. So let's just go through kind of a, uh, a smattering them, shall we? So this one here, this is what we call the Doppler horn volume. That's cool. So it kind of sounds like it kind of went by us. Uh, we got the flange squeal effect. That will probably be in effect when we move it. Ah, we got the doors opening, and of course we got them closing. Nice. We got some various air compressors. I got an air dryer volume. Cool. Oh, it's just a lot of really neat things that go on with this. So I'm gonna take my passenger car off just so I don't crash into it. Now let's get this thing moving. Let's back her up. Get my track out of the way. Now, one of the neat things about this set is actually I have, oops, I actually have two powered units that are happening with the set. So, for example, this one blows the horn when it's in the forward position, but when I call it into the reverse position, it doesn't do anything. That's because the other unit would have the horn that would go. So that's a really neat little feature with these engines. Now, this set is just awesome. It is a really interesting, a very unique locomotive that you probably, well, I could pretty much guarantee, if you, unless you have this, nobody has this set going on their rails today. So the retail value of this train is actually 
$949. It's a lot, I understand. But there's a lot that goes into the set. We're selling here at Yankee Dabbly, though, for $799.99. Yes, Engineer Hall. Oh, uh, no, I think it's a nice uh, set that they got here from Repito. Definitely. You know what we could do? We could throw that Engineer Hall discount on there and save 5% off of that. Oh, you know what? That, 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 there you go. There that's, you that's, your, that's thinking so, right there. I know it's a lot of money, but it's a great looking set. It's a high quality set, and I guarantee you'll be the envy of all your Amtrak friends out there. So get the Turbo Liner running Turbo Trains on your railroad today. Let's take a look at all the things that we looked at in today's show. So starting off with Walthers, we have these uh, feel better, these depressed flat cars. D. What? They're depressed, not depressed. Right, right. They're depressed. It. We have these happy, depressed flat cars here. We have from Atherin, we had these excited 50 foot plug door box cars. We have from Kado, these celebratory 50th anniversary P42s. We have from Rapido, this quick and highly energetic turbo liner. And we have from TCS, the train control system, the number LT 50. But of course, if you're looking for something else that we did not showcase on today's show, what are you pointing to, Engineer Hall? They just came in while we were shooting. Yeah, we got new trains, and we'll have to take a look at this next time. But you can always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, type in that search bar what you're looking for, and get caught up on all the greatest things that we have here. So hopefully, you will have them on your layout having lots of fun. We well, got one more rail fan tip for you, okay? Now, I know a lot of people might not have the ability to get out, you know, so... Virtual Rail Fam is a great resource that you could just put on your computer and just see trains from the comfort of your home. For example, did you know that all of us here at Yankee Dabbler have virtual rail fans that are uh, of our layouts? We do? Yes, we do. For example, here's Engineer Hall's layout. Here is my layout. Here is Christian's layout. And finally, here's Ken's layout. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Um, wow, Ken's pretty good. All right, so that's an option that you can go with as well. I want to thank you very much for watching our show. And if you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button so you get caught up on everything that we have coming up for you. All right, so enjoy. Uh, let's do a rail fan video. You know, we took a look at those P42s. I have a P42 that was painted in the Phase 4 uh, livery not too long ago going through Manassas, Virginia. So that's an interesting locomotive to check out. So enjoy that. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go to Ken's house. I gotta see what he's got cooking up there. I mean, how big do you think that house is? I don't know. Crazy. Whatever he does, I want to do it. So take care, everyone. Man, that was crazy.